Hey guys, welcome to part 72 of my Let's Play of Paper Mario and Silvash and the Freezing Alps. Uh, I'm gonna ignore this guy, unfortunately, because I don't have plans of fighting him until after we get into the palace, because I want to save it during the episode, and I'd rather try to spacious some um, random counters, because I know for a fact I'm gonna be editing them out later on. Oh, uh, look. There's a little freezy little picky guy right here, huh? Here, let me try to free you out. Oh, I can't because this hammer is not strong enough to break the ice. Oh well. Guess you're gonna be stuck there forever. And yes, you will stay there forever till after you beat the chapter. Okay, so. We need to visit the mayor of... Yeah, we need we need to visit the mayor to get the other item. Don't ask me why, but that's what we have to do. Hey, Mr. Mayor. Oh, Mario. Did you reach Storm Valley? Did you see Murray? Oh, excellent. He said what? An item that has been passed down to the city? Um, alright. There was something like that. Just a minute, I think I've got it somewhere. Yes, I found it. Here it is. A bucket. It's an ordinary bucket that Silver City Mayor gave you. This bucket has been passed down through the years of Silver City. As Merle have must have told you, there's a legend associated with it. If you use this and the scarf together, the way to the Crystal Palace will open. Who knows what all that means though? <laughs> I don't have the slightest clue as to how to use them together. Sounds like both Star Kids and Sovereign Valley are in trouble. I hope you do your best for the little tit takes. They're just kids. Best of luck to you. You're Mr. You're Mayor Penguin from Silver City, correct? The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Here's your letter, Mr. Mayor. Another letter duly delivered and postman's job is never done. For me? Oh, it's from Yoshi Village. I don't know where that is, but I bet it's pretty far away. I'll read this later, thank you very much. Uh, hang on, I'll give you this. Thank you for the star piece, Mr. Mayor. Alright, so we killed two birds with one stone right there. So, I think we are actually going to go ahead and access the Crystal Palace. Uh, maybe I should make some room first, so I'm going to check out some items. Oh, they even have a life shroom here. I didn't know they had life shrooms here. Okay, I'm going to check some items, please, because I want to save some. Most importantly, I want to at least try to save one jam and jelly. I have so many shooting stars, I might want to sell just one of them. And, uh, I'll sell one maple syrup. I'll sell one of doubles of everything I have here. Now, it also leads us with B3, but I actually know what I'm actually going to do with B3 here. I know what I'm going to do with them. But while I'm here, I might as well also buy myself a life shroom while I'm at it. I'm just buying one life shroom. Just one. Let's save our progress. Alright, so, now let's go down the path once again for the snow. 
I've been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild recently. I enjoyed it, like, having this humongous, big open world to explore around in and, like, do whatever you want. And, yeah, I'm, and I'm still doing this today, and that's also what's keeping me away from YouTube, most likely, or editing, rather. But, I'll eventually try to catch up on my work, because I'm a little bit behind schedule. A cool bucket hat. Thank you. A warm scarf. Thank you. What kind of man you are. We thank you. As for our reward, uh, for your kindness, we shall tell you our secret. Now... Okay. Here's my... You see, like, I'm pretty sure if a lot of times you can hear my... My gamepad keep like vibrating a lot because like this game uses Rumble Pack a lot. Please pass through here with many thanks and blessings from the snowman. Well thank you. That's why we are here. Into the Crystal Palace. There's a little pit. You have to uh we have to break this ice. And hit this button here, and uh, yeah, that leaves us back up, so this is really not much of a very big puzzle. But we do have our meet up with a new enemy, which we're going to fight, and I did a triple jump right there. Now, these enemies are called Gulpits. And the fact that um, I got myself a special move right here, this is definitely going to hurt a lot, I don't know. And yeah, it also kills them. Now, they're gonna grab one of these rocks. And depending on its size, will actually hurt a lot. Now, you can also break one of the rocks if you want to. Like here, I'm gonna use Paracarry on one of them. I'm gonna aim on this one. See, it breaks some of the rocks, but that'll be a waste of a turn if you do that. So that's what I highly recommend not to do. And I'm not really good at blocking for some reason. But that's the second enemy. So close leveling up right there, though. But we're getting close. But I also do not want to meet enough enemies, so I know there's another enemy here, but I'm gonna... But I'm gonna run away from it, because I'm not ready to fight it. I'm not ready to fight these enemies yet. Maybe I will later, just not yet. Okay, so let's get in here. Ah, Pebble. Not gonna be much use, though. Okay, according to here, we have to use Cooper. Which also, so far, is the only one who have not been leveled up yet. But we will level him up. Um, eventually, maybe... Oh, no. Um... No! What's wrong with my eyes? You... You look just like me. Imposter! Who are you really? Tell me your name. I'm Cooper. Yeah, that's it. The question is, who are you? What? 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 That's impossible. I'm the one, the only Cooper. You're talking crazy! Talk now! You're making no sense! I'm the genuine Cooper, really! Come on, Mario, you know me! The guy with the... This guy's a big liar! I'm not... I'm not lying! Mario! You know I'm Cooper, don't you? Don't you recognize your buddy? Shut your mouth, goody-goody! 
I'm his buddy. Yeah, that's it. Why you? You're the one who should shut his mouth. I'm his buddy. Listen, moron, er, Mario. You have to decide who's lying. It's the only way. Pick, pick the one you think is lying. And whack him really hard with the hammer. Fine. Yeah, fine with me. If you think you'll get away with a trick like that, fine. I know Mario knows who I am. I believe in you, Mario. Oh dear. We have a little choice here. One of these two Coopers is the real one. Uh, this one. Oh, I knew it! Yow! But what made you think that I was the one lying, huh? It must have been luck. No one has instincts that good. Don't be such a crybaby. You lost. What were you thinking trying to trick Mario like that? What? Shut up! I'll trick you! Here's a map with a new enemy, which is called a Diplic Ghost. These ghosts are basically master in disguise. They will turn into most likely just your party members, and you must take care, at least most of them, as much as fast as you possibly can before they will blow you up with your with your own party members. So you can see here, because my partner is Cooper, he transformed into Cooper. Let's do Shell Toss on this first guy right here, actually. And um, as we know for Cooper from a lot of our Koopa Troopas, if you do double jump, he will lay on his back and he will stay there for a turn. If you're fighting, like, these guys that are supposed to transform into your party members, then you should use the same strategy they use for other of Bowser's followers. Such as if it's the Koopa, just double jump on him and he'll get on his back, or just single jump on him like that. If it's a bomb -omb, just use something fireproof and it will die in one hit. With that being said, we leveled up, and we're gonna have to give him flower right next. And that is how you take care of a ghost lead. Oh god. I will fight this guy later, but as you can see, this is the last super block of the whole game. And the only party member left to upgrade is Cooper. This is the last super block in the game, so this is this is the last one. So all all my party members are maxed out. We do not need to heal them anymore. I'm gonna ignore this guy though, so I'm gonna ignore him. Now Oh look, an item. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take it. Oh no, we cannot have access anymore. What you must do, you must replace it with something you don't find useful. In which case, I'm putting a pebble for his first one. Oh look, Snowman, I'm gonna need... Actually, I don't think I need that. But you know what, here, I'll hold on to it just in case, because I might need it later. And I'm gonna replace it with a dried shroom, because I know it's useless. And Thunder Rage, my favorite um, an item to use. We're going to have to replace it with a fake item, which I'm going to use a dusty hammer. Now, uh, yeah, I think we should go this way first. You can see here, there's a blown, there's a wall right here. Here we are in this room. 
Now, if you remember what Merlin's brother Murrily, whatever way he said. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yes, I, I almost forgot. There's, There's supposed, supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along, along the path to Crystal Palace. Palace. A legend, legend hath been handed down in the valley regarding the shrine's secrets. Truth lies not only in the eyes, sometimes, sometimes even the walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you, you must find the shrine and solve its mystery to reach the little house. Don't forget it. He said that you'll come across some sort of weird crystal location. And he says something about some sort of rhyme about the walls may lie. This is one of these instances. And it's right here. Just walk through the wall and you will find a secret lip matter. At last, it is Mario. I'm glad you found this place. I've been expecting you. <laughs> ho ho ho. Did you find it strange that I know of you? My name is Madame Marilar. I am the messenger of the stars. You know Merlin and Murdy. Well, I am their ancestor. The stars spoke of me, of you through my dreams. They said you would come in the Shrine of Silver Mountain. It is here that I guard the way to the Crystal Palace. We have little time to waste, so listen carefully. You may not know this, but followers of Bowser have invaded Crystal Palace, where the stars have honored. Now, what I have to tell you is very important. Listen to every word I say. I can't tell you the whole tale. In this interest of time, I'll brief this, so pay attention to the key points. The story began a long, long time ago. I was still a young woman back then. A horrible thing happened to the mountain one day. I ran there immediately, and I was actually... Oh, such a sight. I was, and it was so... It was none other so than I... Then I... So that's why you must get Bowser's men out of the Crystal Palace, but... Hey, you! Were you even listening to my story? Well then, okay then. As I was saying, you need the stones, the Star Stone, to reach the palace. I'll give it to you. With this stone, you can open the way to the Crystal Palace. Go on, make haste. Do you think you understood my shortened version of the tale? It really doesn't do the story justice. You know, perhaps one of, one day I'll tell you the full story. Until then, good luck. Alright, so we got the stone star. The star stone. A stone, it opens the path to the Crystal Palace. Alright, see you guys in part 73, where we will continue the Crystal Palace.